The North American XB-70 Valkyrie was intended to replace the B-52 in the USAF Strategic Air Command. Designed in the late 1950s, it was the logical extension of the trends in aerodynamics at that time. Weighing in at over half a million pounds when loaded, it was an enormous aircraft. Despite this, it was capable of cruise speeds in excess of Mach 3. And, it was one of the most beautiful aircraft ever built. It looked as futuristic as it performed. Unfortunately, its advent coincided with the deployment of the Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, and it was considered by Secretary of Defense McNamara to be redundant. The program was cancelled in March 1961, and was redirected as a limited research effort into high-speed flight with only two aircraft. Airframe No. 1 made its first flight in September, 1964. In June of 1966, while taking publicity photos in a formation with a number of fighter aircraft, the second XB-70 collided with an F-104, destroying both aircraft and killing two pilots and severely injuring the third. As Airframe 1 was limited to Mach 2.5 after structural weaknesses were discovered, and Airframe 2 was the only B-70 that could actually exceed Mach 3, this crash effectively ended the research program. The remaining airframe flew for another two years, and was then delivered to the Air Force Museum in 1969.